<clears throat> hey, people, it's me, Guy Meyer, here in Chicago, 28th floor. <clears throat> yeah, I'm suffering from some kind of whatever. I don't even care what it is. I don't want to know its name. It's just crap. Just something. I had a couple of ibuprofens last night. That's about as much as the wimp that I am will go for. Um, and I still had not a great night's sleep. Yeah, the Amtrak train failed on me. They set me up in this, I'm in the 28th floor <clears throat> of a hotel, which is a really good thing. It's a wonderful thing, except I don't feel so great. Shouldn't be talking. Maybe I should. You know, how do you bring world peace? How do you bring inner peace? How do you bring peace, 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 peace? You know, I wonder that. I you know, lay in bed at night, trying to sleep, and it's a cacophony, a symphony, but it's not a symphony. It's a lot of noise in your brain, the pressures of existence. Mm, you know what I mean, people? I've been told some people have the same issues that I do. I can't imagine that, but it's possible. Trouble sleeping at night. Well, I'm in Chicago. I want to talk about, uh, I don't know. I guess I could talk about prayers and uh, just the mystery of being in this hotel room where I should be on the train waking up. Oh, I guess, let's see, what time is it? Nine o'clock? Probably approaching, uh, maybe be approaching Rochester by now. But there's a storm out there, supposedly. Word has it. And uh, snow. And I don't know how I'm going to get to Maine. But I, I guess I'm going to find out. Because uh, Amtrak has answers. But I don't know them yet. You know, the anti-hatred movement. What is that? I don't know. I don't know. I was thinking about that. I'm in Chicago. I pick up the paper. Ah. Worked on Obama Presidential Center restarts after noose found. Six days after officials say a noose was found at the Obama Presidential Center worksite on the south side. Construction firm overseeing the project said work had restarted. Additional safety and security measures. The center, which will honor the legacy of former President Barack Obama, the nation's first black president, is also being built in Jackson Park on the city's majority black south side by a joint venture of four African-American firms, Turner Construction, Obama Foundation. Alliance said all staff and on-site workers have participated in anti-bias training. Last week, a lakeside spokeswoman declined to comment on details of the incident, including where the noose was found or if it was positioned in a threatening way, citing the ongoing investigation by the Ch Chicago police. Well, I, I, you know, I don't know how much uh, anti-hatred training or whatever their training is getting, anti-bias training, and all this anti Anti-being bad, anti-bad people training. I don't know. I'm skeptical. If it's really going to be, it's on the, it's on the right path of bringing out a better world. Apparently it's national uh, anti-hatred week. I just got a headache. I don't know if it's hatred or just, ow, oh, head. The world. The responsibilities. How do you get out of the Ponzi scheme called civilization? Where is the uh, where's the exit? Oh my God! But I believe in civilization. Actually, I do believe in the, uh, the goodness 
and uh, the goodness even in what's going on out, even in the mess that's out there. As I look over beautiful Chicago, and I can see Lake Michigan off there, and uh, you know, there's just people doing their natural born thing. I don't know, it's complicated. It just seems like so much of it is, uh, You just get bought up in this bigger and bigger and always more and more regime. Um, yeah, the Obama thing was, it's about, to me, it's about the park and why did the, this presidential center, it's not a presidential library, it's this heroic uh, manifestation of his term why is it being built in a public park? And do you get, get away with it just because you're an African, African American man? I'd like to see Jackson Park. Maybe I'll get to see it today. Because when I first heard about this story a couple of years ago, it didn't, I didn't like it. It was like, why are you building a presidential library in a public park? That should be for the people. I have issues. I'm not, I've never been satisfied with uh, President Barack Obama's treatment. I think he was worshipped too much. I think his, his color got him uh, a free pass. Of course, the Democrats will always give Democrats a free pass. And I suppose Republicans will do the same. Uh, yeah, not a not a fan. Um, Anyways, I'm not sure if this is interesting at all. Probably not. I need to take care of myself. Shouldn't be talking to human beings publicly. Oh, shit. See what I mean?